it's Oklahoma State week. The Longhorns are off the bye week. They went 1-0 in did. the bye week because they, they moved up in the AP poll to number that? six. How about that? And Tom says he doesn't. it doesn't have anything, anything to do with what they're doing over here. BS. <laughs> are you buying that? I don't uh, have any money. I'm not buying anything. Right, I know so. you're not buying it, but it has everything to do with the perception of your program, recruiting. You're telling recruits, say, hey, we're in the top ten, we're moving up. We're in, like the Jeffersons. Headed in the right direction. So, no, I think he pays a lot of attention to that. And, uh, yeah, you got bigger goals than that. But, yeah, number six after that Maryland loss, that's good, good place. I, I wouldn't have seen them at number no, six after the D.C. I thought that was a dumpster fire waiting yeah. to happen. Didn't improve much the next week with Tulsa. Mm -mm. That was a close one, too. So, you know, we're sitting here. They're 6-1. and one. They got everything in front of them. They control their own destiny. And they have a little bump in the road in Sam Ellinger's shoulder. What, uh, what did you take from uh, what Tom said today? He's going to play. I think he's going to yeah. play. I yeah. think he's going to try to play. Yeah, he th he's been throwing a little bit. He's going to throw uh, 25 times tomorrow on uh, Tuesday. And, and then, then ratchet it up to maybe 75, 80. Yeah. He says he normally throws 75, and he says he'll try to know by Thursday. They've got metrics, but I think a lot of it's going to be the eyeball test, don't you? I do too, and I know it's not. I know the World Series is coming up, and um, he might be on a pitch count in Stillwater. Who knows? Will we see both quarterbacks? Well, you know, his strength is his physicality. The way he evades tacklers, the way he runs the ball, just his whole manner is being physical. I don't think this issue is going away. I think it may well linger the whole year. And he might even have surgery after the year. We don't know. But it's how much pain tolerance he can withstand. But I do think it's going to have an effect. Your level of confidence in Shane Bichelle, he thinks he's the best number two quarterback in the country. I don't. I'm no. sure there's another backup quarterback out there that's better than Shane <laughs> like Bichelle. Oh, yeah, for one, yeah. thank you. So I, I don't know. I, I, I think Shane Bouchel's battle tested, he and is. I think he's not afraid of the moment. And I think I think they'll be fine with either quarterback because the defense is playing right. pretty well. So and, and Keontae Ingram is starting to show that he is the guy in running back. Maybe becoming a 20 carry game after getting 19 against Bayer. <laughs> They're plus five in turnover margin, as you said. The defense is is really getting it done. Has a lot of confidence. So. Uh, any other factors? So Oklahoma State's down. They've, they've, they haven't played well. They've lost. They've beaten like uh, Missouri State and South Alabama and Boise State, and they've yet to play the elite and like in Oklahoma, or Texas, or West Virginia. And they gave a 48 at the house yeah. to Iowa State. It's not not exactly an team. offensive juggernaut. That means be worried. Be very, very worried. worried. A wounded Oklahoma State team is a dangerous Oklahoma State team. Absolutely.